former acting DNI Rick Grinnell. Good to see you tonight, Rick. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Always good to see you. Okay, so let's start with Hunter Biden and the Attorney General saying today he has no plans on the way out the door to appoint a special counsel uh, regarding that investigation. Uh, Congressman Mark Green tweeting this. Let me get this straight. A special counsel was appointed to investigate real Donald Trump based on malicious rumors, yet verified facts about Hunter Biden's business dealings don't warrant the same treatment. What do you think about that decision? There are other investigations ongoing. There's a lot of investigations ongoing. We still have time, and I would not count out uh, a special prosecutor for the larger issue of China and how China has used its leverage, not only in politics, but in uh, academia. Look, this is a larger issue that I think the Bidens have just taken advantage of. Clearly, uh, we have a whole intel community that is uh, concentrating on Russia as a problem, which it is. And there, no one wants to diminish uh, the problems that we have with Russia. But China is a crisis. And what's been happening over the last decades is that we've had numerous Democrats really downplaying this threat from China. And I think the Bidens just took advantage of it. And this whole idea of look over here and pretend that Russia is a crisis when we know that China is the crisis, um, I think that's concerning for a lot of people. And it, and it crosses into many different issues, politics. Uh, certainly, we see it in sports. We see it uh, in international diplomacy. The UN is flooded with uh, Chinese spies and influences and academia we know. So we've got to understand that China is a crisis and it's been a hidden crisis for way too long. Well, and House Majority, excuse me, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy talked about this in the context of Congressman Eric Swalwell, where there are growing questions. He has not uh, answered our questions from our producer or from um, <clears throat> you know, Fox as we try to get information directly from him. But here is what Minority Leader McCarthy said. As a very junior member, just in his second term, he gets named to the Intel Committee. And that exact same year when the FBI came to brief the Intel Committee because they were concerned of what they saw, he gets put as the ranking Democrat over the CIA. I do not understand how this has continued this long. Speaker Pelosi has said she's got confidence in Congressman Swalwell, as a number of other high-profile Democrats have. Um, but the GOP continues calls for him to be removed from the House Intel Committee. Does this go anywhere? Well, it should. Anybody who's ever uh, seen the classified version of what's going on with the Chinese leverage, uh, it's not just Eric Swalwell. It's local officials. Uh, this started when he was a local official. It's mayors. It's governors. It's members of Congress. And to get the full briefing on the leverage that has happened. And let me be very clear that since COVID, uh, since we know that COVID-19, the, the Intel uh, community rarely comes together with one voice. And they came together and said that COVID-19 started in China. Since then, we've seen a number of Democrats really get aggressive about pushing the Beijing line, which is to always blame Russia on everything and to downplay the threat from China and to talk about uh, different issues when it comes to the supply chain and really try to engage China on a level that I don't think that right now we should be engaging uh, China on. We, we need to understand that uh, this growing crisis with China is very real. And if you've looked at the information that Eric Swalwell found himself in, you would come to a conclusion that absolutely he should not be sitting on the Intel commu uh, Committee at a minimum. I actually think that well, uh, there's a real big question of whether or not he should be serving in Congress. But the Intel uh, Committee itself should absolutely say, take a step back. Let's let everybody get briefed and let's really dig into what happened because he is uh, not telling the truth when he said that he uh, clearly didn't do anything wrong. If you've read the, the entire intel, if you know the classified information, um, he is in a heap of trouble. Well, we'll keep asking questions, but I hear what you're saying tonight, that you can acknowledge that there is trouble with both Russia and China, and there are both threats that we need to be aggressively honed in on. And I know that our intel folks are working around the, the clock every day and night. 
on both of those issues, among many, many more. Um, Rick, thanks for stopping in. Good to see you. Thanks, Shannon.